Unrestricted free agent Kareem Hunt is expected to know the duration of his suspension prior to the start of the new league year. Aside from nearly sabotaging my fantasy team, should the Jets consider bringing him in? Kareem Hunt, 23 years old, 5'11", 200 pounds of dumbass. <laughs> he had the world at the palm of his hand. Last year, he won the NFL rushing title and has accumulated just under 3,000 yards and 25 touchdowns in 27 career games. Hunt was released from the Chiefs this past season after video of him surfaced assaulting a woman in a Cleveland hotel. Now, the Chiefs knew about this videotape, but they were unable to obtain a copy of it due to legal hurdles. It took a security guard to release the footage to TMZ before he was actually suspended. Now, how long will Kareem Hunt be suspended for? This is important because four years ago, or five years ago now, Ray Rice was suspended for two games prior to a video of him being released of him cold cocking his girlfriend. Now, since that videotape was released, the NFL has been dragged through the mud and Ray Rice has never played in the NFL since. I think this year you're going to see the NFL really take it seriously. I don't think they want what happened to them five years ago to happen again with the Kareem Hunt situation. Um, it's expected that he is going to face a six to eight game suspension coming into this season. Now, six to eight games is a lot for the NFL season. It's half the year. This isn't even the biggest issue when it comes to Kareem Hunt. He lied to his head coach and his GM about the situation, and it wasn't even the only situation he was involved in over the past offseason. He was already accused of getting in a fight and assaulting a man in a nightclub after they lost to the Titans last postseason. And then in June, he gets in another altercation with a man, punching him in the face at a resort. Let me tell you something, folks. You can't fix stupid. Oddly enough, after all of this, Kareem Hunt is actually going to come out on top of this. He was set to make $677,000 on his rookie contract. Now that he's a free agent, it's, it's expected that a lot of teams are going to have interest in him. There's going to be some teams that cross him off the list, but more than likely he's going to make more than that $677,000 he would have made on his rookie deal. One of the teams that's expected to have interest in Hunt is the Chicago Bears. Former offensive coordinator of the Kansas City Chiefs, Matt Nagy, is now the head coach of the Bears. And with Mitch Trubisky there, the time to go all in on a Super Bowl push is while he is on that rookie contract. After signing Khalil Mack to a massive deal, there's no secret that the Bears won't be able to go after Le'Veon Bell. Kareem Hunt is younger and is going to command a far cheaper price tag. Now what does this mean for the Jets? It's important to note that Joe Mixon, the former running back of the Oklahoma Sooners, was taken off the Jets draft board after assaulting a female student during his time in college. We can look no further than Mike McCagnon's comments on Joe Mixon's situation prior to the 2017 draft. There are some things that are extremely egregious that I personally have a very hard time with condoning, violence in particular. That's a very serious thing to me. That's something that for me and my wife we had a personal experience with. I would say simply, we don't take it lightly. What Mike McCagnon is referring to is a close friend of him and his wife Betty who was killed during a domestic violence murder-suicide nine years ago. They are now vocal advocates for the One Love Foundation to raise awareness for warning signs of domestic violence and relationship abuse. I'm going to link the website down below. You guys can check that out. Donate if you can. Um, as far as Cream Hunt goes, I think you can't sign him as the Jets, unfortunately. Uh, I think, you know, there's a lot of talent there, but, you, you know, as Ron White says, <laughs> you can't fix stupid. Uh, and you know it's just a matter of time before something else happens to him. I would love to see him get a second chance in the NFL, but I would love to see, I don't know if the commissioner can do this, but require him to do community service with domestic violence groups and, you know, maybe donate a portion of his paycheck and each, you know, game check to some domestic violence group that he helps. Uh, I think the NFL can come out clean from this by making an example of Hunt and showing how players can be rehabilitated. I think they learned from the Ray Rice issue, uh, you know, five years ago and how not to handle things. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. As always, guys, go Jets.